Welcome. This is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. And this is video two in our series where we're talking about Parametric Part Builder, uh, how to use Parametric Part Builder and to make MV parts. Um, so I'm going to switch to the problem statement here. Pause the video if you need to uh, to read that. And let's move on. Okay, so uh, we drew this line. This is going to be the path of our extrusion. Let's put a di quick dimension on that. Right click, add dimension. Uh, it's horizontal distance because we're moving horizontally along the x axis. Enter dimension value, so I'm just going to call it one inch for now. Alright, now we're going to extrude a rectangle which is the shape of our of this thing and let's go there come here say add profile rectangular and let's just put this rectangle right here and I'm gonna say at um, three foot comma eighteen inches there we go. So let's dimension that horizontally. Uh, what did we say that was? Three foot? Okay. And vertically. Put a dimension there. What was that? 18 inches. Alright. So Good. Um, now, let's figure out how we're going to build the rest of this. <clears throat> so if we've got a plane that cuts through right here, defines the center of this extrusion, and we extrude that rectangle along a very short one inch path here, then how do we relate that to the main body here? Um, this body dimension changes. I'm pretty sure that depend as these models change, um, the center of this is going to not always be centered on the axis of this, just like this piece up here. You know, he's not centered on the axis um, and uh, of this main body. So this guy is probably not going to always be centered either. So we need to a way to define how he relates to this guy and be off axis, but always be on the face of this. So let's do that. Um, and this guy, do we want to draw him from the bottom upwards? Or do we want to draw him from the center of him it's another good question. So I'm going to guess that, uh, you know, look, manufacturing cut sheets is probably dimensioned probably from the bottom of this up to the bottom of that lip or, or even maybe to the center. So why don't we try doing this from the bottom up? So I want to do some planning with you and kind of plan this out in our head. So if I'm going to use a ray here to represent our... Um, planes, I've got, oh, come on, rotate, put them right there, and then we'll just rotate them. This is probably going to take several videos here. There. Okay. So if this is our current work plane that we just got done drawing on, as he cuts through there, and, um, we're going to need another work plane representing the bottom of this rectangle and another one representing the top. So if we put him on down here and then leave him right there. There we go. And then uh, let's take him and copy him up to there. 
So we've got one rectangle we're extruding on this plane this way. And then we're going to draw a rectangle on this flat plane down here. So if, if we were looking in, on this flat plane, it would look like that in plan view. Um, what we're going to need is to draw uh, from the center. You know what? Let's get my snaps right. Oh, and we're out of time. Next, next video.